Recording right away here. Now it is. Penis. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, wow. Jonathan Balls. Penis. Jonathan Balls. So, last week, Hecker. we indeed arrive in Rilia uh, to the news that the prince had been kidnapped, which absolutely sent our dear friend um, Leon currently into a tizzy. Uh, that's the word I'm tizzy. using for it. I'm do sticking not, to it. Do not call my undefinable rage a tizzy. I'm calling it a tizzy. Uh, I'm God, I do what I want. <laughs> and it's a tizzy. Uh, and you hoofed it to the capital, you met with the queen, and you all found out that the prince was uh, drumroll Leon's son. Which was quite a shocker for many of our friends here at home. Uh, you did some investigating. And you found out that, well, basically what the ransom note told you, but that one of his uh, maids had participated in the kidnapping and that Marisol um, is a cold blooded murderer, but we already knew that. Oh, yeah. And she's on the warpath, as is Leon. And currently we are all headed to Delarath Lake to go save that boy. There's also a guard with a hole in his knee. There's also a guard with a hole in his knee because Leon shot somebody. Well, That one wasn't quite justified. It's but... an old style receiver, so there's probably no uh, revolver, so there's probably no knee left. Yeah, he does. He is, they take off the leg. It's gone. Uh, <laughs> That's on him. So, you have officially left the capital on your way to the lake. Uh, as far as you're aware, Marisol will meet you there, or something, uh, is what most of you assume, and you are booking it out of the capital. And after a fair amount of time, you all arrive here to see Marisol sitting completely still on a horse in the middle of a road, by herself, covered in blood. Well, that's not creepy at all, is it? Like the fucking doula. Except she still has her head. Isn't that at least typical for her by now? She's looking like Carrie. Oh, I, will, I will approach and say, you can move now. Uh, alright. <laughs> I'll turn my head and every bone in my body will crack. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now that's just weird. Why was she like that? Uh, I'll ignore him for a moment and say, what were you thinking going off on your own? I was given a task. I'm doing that task. You said you'd leave and come back within a day. You told me to bring your son back. I do not have your son. So I cannot come back. He kind of just like rubbed his <laughs> temples. Alright, we're going to get him back together. Is that understood? Yes. Good. I'm sorry. Philip, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't get in. I've been locked out. <laughs> Wait. You guys don't actually have to be on the map, but... <laughs> I'm locked out. I just thought it was fun here to just leave Marisol's token alone <laughs> on a map. The uh, borders are too strong. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Right, <laughs> keep moving. Okay, uh, you continue to ride. It takes about an hour or two. It's uh, getting into Light evening, the and then eventually nighttime when you arrive at the lake in this formation in, uh, <laughs> to being surrounded to being surrounded uh, most of you do not recognize the three people standing at the <laughs> shore <laughs> but some of you do uh, and the they look displeased to see you um, Leon the little boy in the middle as we can all assume is your son uh, his eyes just light up with hope when he sees you, and a little bit of fear because he sees Marisol. And, and but generally, he's like, "Oh my God, that's my dad!" 
and uh, he looks terrified. He doesn't look injured, but he's very happy to see you. Hey, cheese. Yeah. Hey, you remember? Uh, what is my son's name? Elios. Elios, thank you. Can't remember your own fucking kid's name. No, oh, it's been Bastard. like that this week. <laughs> you named him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what's his name mean? I remember uh, that much. Sunlight, something like that. It's, uh, like, Little Sun. Yeah. Very cute. Uh um, called him Dwarf. Wait, what? He's the Summer Prince. Oh. All right. Was, uh, was a little bit outnumbered here. Uh, he'll slowly approach and say, Helios? I need you to close your eyes for me. Don't open he them nods. until I say. He nods and he closes his eyes, and for good measure, he puts his hands over his face too. Cover uh, your ears. <laughs> oh, he does that, and he just looks at you now. I'll look at the other two, who I recognize, right? Mm -hmm. These are the pictures we used to them. Uh huh. I'll say. I recognize them. You do. Okay. <laughs> I have Mother. no clue who these people Father. are. Oh. Uncle. What do you think you're doing? Oh shit, I forgot I was playing them. <laughs> yeah, <that's> you. <laughs> <laughs> um your father is like resting his hand on his sword. And he sneers at you. And then your mother uh, like crosses her hands or like crosses her arms in front of her and goes Which one are you now? Doesn't matter. You're early. It's not quite the full moon yet. <laughs> I would like to do something cheese. I, I will, I will oh, no. look to the other people in my group and say I want them alive. Alive? All right, I can do that. Which ones? I'll point at the three in the middle. It's like, just those. Do not harm my son. I kind of just Which give one? a simple nod to him. Said Honestly, it... if any of you touches his son, I think I, there's no I can't save you from that, honestly. <laughs> you will die. I, I <laughs> there's no, literally, it, there's reason. nothing I can do about that. From, 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 <laughs> from on top of Philip's head, the Colin's going to point to the guards. Will... It's like, these are fair game, right? Yep. Don't care. All right. I am going to give you two one chance to hand him over peacefully. Just one. Uh, your mother takes her hand <clears throat> and she places it on the back of Ilios's neck. My gun is pointed at her face now. And your father takes a step forward. Father gun pointed at him. <laughs> uh, and he draws his sword and he says uh, what does he say fuck he goes you know the deal son do not turn yourselves him. turn yourselves over and we'll send the boy home he doesn't really think we're gonna turn ourselves over does he he looks at you and says was I speaking to you, rat? That's racist, oh, you fuck. fuck. That's what I get it from. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, at least oh. you have at least you have the capacity to learn. This one God, look I have a horrible idea. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I I I want this horrible idea to go off though. <laughs> uh, my mother. She, you said he has a, she has a hand on his neck? Yeah, like gripping the back of his neck. Not super hard, but like it, it doesn't look comfy. Okay. Jeez, I need to message you something because there's a particular objective on my mind right now that I require. <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so many Remember. bad ideas. I love it. Remember what I said about keeping them alive? Yeah, I know. Try to, try to... <laughs> Don't kill my son. <laughs> Of course not. Of course. Do you mind? Do you mind if I blind your father? Not permanently. Yeah, fine, fine. I'll just go for the. I'll go for the knees. 
Also, we could probably kill them for like a minute, maybe. I could, I could uh, undo that. Right, well, when when Jordan does her thing, I'll do my thing. All right. It's gonna take my best level spell too. It sucks, but that'd be worth it. Oh, Darn, I want to send you a GIF. My phone isn't loading. Mm. <clears throat> Why not? Get it to load. I don't know. Range. God, my Wi-Fi is slow today. I just want to say, I feel like Nephi, like, she's ready to fight, but I feel like she's kind of sitting there looking between those, like, totally loving all of the drama trying to figure out who everybody is like a soap opera i know i think that she's <laughs> like she's ready to start fighting but like she's sitting here like this is some good entertainment right now well you gather that the man is my father and the woman is my mother well yeah guards are already dead <laughs> i mean look she is loving it she knows that the sun's gonna be totally fine so she's just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. yes Look, just because uh, the goddess is on your side doesn't mean... Wait a minute, uh, is the goddess even on our side? She's okay. Fill in those beams. Alright, uh, cheese, you... I don't want to interrupt Jordan's thing, so you let me know when I can do mine. Oh, well... Um... Okay, um, hold up. Okay, hold, I have to think about this. Let me read one more time and then I'll give you some good description. Uh... Great. Hearing the serious S typing. So, just all of a sudden, uh, Mummy Dearest just, like, doubles over in pain. And she doesn't quite fall to her knees, but she gets pretty darn close. And she looks up, and she makes eye contact with Marisol. <laughs> and she says, you will regret that. When she, well, on. Whenever she doubles over, does she let go of my son for a moment? No, her hand just gets tighter and your son, All like, right. squirms. Well, I I had a thing prepared. Do I get to do it before initiative? What's your thing? Uh, I want to sprint over, because that's my movement. No, I have 30 feet of movement. To put a hand on my son's shoulder and dimension door out of there. <laughs> Um. Uh, <laughs> say that to me one more time. Okay, I'll act it out for you. I rush Please. up this way, still in yeah. melee with my father, so I don't get an act out opportunity. I cast <laughs> Dimension Door and teleport about ninety feet back the way we came. Okay. Let's make it one twenty, actually. So I can do up to 300, but I don't want to get too far away. Uh, Fucked up your plans, didn't I? Hold on. No reason why. Okay. It's, okay. it's asking for a spell save. What's the thing? Mm -mm. Well, That's only if he's unwilling. Um. Okay, so... He'd be so surprised that he doesn't have an opportunity to be willing or unwilling, uh, so theoretically he would just go for it. But, indeed, your mother is still attached to him, and her will is quite great. Uh, what would the role be? Well, she wouldn't come. It would only be my son. But she's got a grip on him, and... You can uh, only take one person with you. Yeah, doesn't matter. And she's pulling back with her. She's also quite magical, and she is pulling back with her will uh, to counteract this. What would the role be? Oh, counterspell. Um, let's see. Wait, are you using counterspell? No, I'm DMing. Uh, just, what would my role... What does it yeah, say? There, there isn't really a role, because if it's unwilling, it just does not happen. Because if, if there was a save for it, um, then, like, if, if you say... In example, say someone like, succeeds in like you know fucking up someone's like they dimension door and they uh, bring someone with them, they could just teleport like two hundred feet 
up into the air and then just teleport back down mm -hmm. safely themselves. So that's that's why there's not really a save for it. Yeah. It so what essentially though happen. is happening is because your child is so young and your mother is so powerful, she is imposing her will upon your son to counteract this spell. And so I would like her to roll for it. Would that be wisdom, you think? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> intelligence, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little help. weird. Maybe a con. Charisma, maybe if you're trying, if she's trying to enforce something. I think oh, yeah. I like charisma. Charisma's good. Uh, that oh. beats your DC. Oh, bitch. It's a close, intense mental battle, but she. I and then uh. Bullshit. Shut up. Uh, she yanks your son away and pulls him behind her. And then uh, we're just going to roll for initiative, though. Is that triggered? Please, my love. Okay. From uh, Leon, since she pulled him out of his room. Mm. I'm not going to attack him. <clears throat> I had nothing prepared, so I'm just ready to, ready to brawl. Let's do this. Which one's... Cool. I'll, I'll is that everybody? Alyssa, roll as your character. Uh, where is your... Yeah. And no. click on your oh, token and then roll. Back, so. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Mm -hmm. It's initiative, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. so click on your character. Is everybody did whispering their roll? We'll take it. I whispered yeah, for some reason. I'm sorry, uh, I don't know how to fix that. Real quick, cheese. Um, yeah. Do I waste the spell slot? Yeah, you used it. No, I didn't. You fucked it up. Oh, well. Fine, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, while we're here, um, Naf and I, you go first. Oh, boy. Um, I'm, can I turn, how do I ping on this again? Hold down. Yeah. Long click. I'm gonna turn to this guy. Okay. And can I, like, chuck my dagger at him? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I forget the how that roll works. Uh, if it's, it's a, just a throw. yeah, it's just a throw. It's a melee or a ranged melee attack. So just click on it's it. Just you, you roll your regular dagger, and it's just <clears> in a certain <throat> range. It'll do either advan uh, regular roll or disadvantage roll. Yeah. Why is all my stuff back? sending to... So there's at the top of your sheet, there's public or to GM above your armor yeah. class. Oh, I see that. Yeah, be sure and click on public. Sorry, I switched that now. Yeah, because we are guy. recording and we want to make sure okay. everybody sees the stuff. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, cheat. roll as yourself. Yes. Roll so, as your character. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> in the chat at the very bottom it says there's like your yeah, little text Yeah, I got it switched. Yeah. No. You can roll it again. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Better. Uh, yep. Do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, you didn't hit him anyway. Uh, so uh. you chuck your dagger and it just flies past his head and he just like <laughs> shakes his head at you. I'm okay with that. We're gonna we're gonna stop while we're ahead right now. <laughs> Alrighty, mummy dearest turn. Uh, I have so many things open, my friends. She points at you, Marisol, and she is going to cast... Uh, how does that work? We'll just do it. Ray of Enfeeblement. Hmm. Oh, it's an attack. You need to make a range spell attack? Oh, fuck. I dragon dropped it. Why didn't it do it? It doesn't do it when you click it on that part. That's so lame. Yeah. You have to click on the... Uh, in, in... Does a 10 <laughs> hit? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a great quip for when it's my turn. these <laughs> bitches. <laughs> okay. Um, well, shite. She... What's the language of this spell? Okay. Um, <laughs> so you, Marisol, you, Philip, you, Zeph, uh, I need you all to make charisma saving throws. Bad at those. Like... I'm... Question mark? Marisol, Philip, Neff, and I. 
I'm bad at those <laughs> guys and gets a fucking 21. I'm good at that. I have a 7 and I rolled a 12. I, so, oh, uh... It's called reverse psychology. Philip and Neff, you guys are fine. Marisol, um... Whenever uh, you make an attack piece. roll or saving throw, uh, for the next minute, you must add a d4 and subtract that number from your attack Are you fucking throw. kidding me? She casts uh, Bane on you. Uh, Bane! Yes. Two spells in a row? Yeah, that's weird. I'm the DM, I make my own rules. Weird. They're boxes. That's what you want. Yep. <laughs> um, now it is Daddy Dearest's turn. He swings on you, my love. Uh, Leon, with that great sword, does a 25 hit. God, no, that'll miss. Really? No. No. <laughs> I don't feel- You guys are so fucking broken, I never know what's true or not. What do you mean, we're level 7? I can fucking cast two spells in a row, go fuck yourself. I do what I want. It's my homebrew game. It's my world, and you're all living in it. That, anyway, guys, seven damage. At once. No, only her. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Cool. Oh my god. Uh, um, and he does indeed have two attacks, so he swings at you again. Does a twenty-two hit? Uh, I'm checking to see if I have any bullshit to count on this. Please tell me you have some bullshit. Please play the some bullshit card. I'm checking. No. It, mm -hmm. So yeah, it hits. What uh, yes. Uh, PC actually? What? Oh, 22. Yeah, that hits. Uh, take nine more damage. Oh, thank God, he's just doing regular damage. I'm already... Well, for now. Sorry to get low. <clears throat> uh, Colin. Fuck. Why am I below Philip? This... Uh, this asshole's making fun of somebody. But this oh, asshole's being a... Ah, uh, fuck. <sighs> shit. Alright, uh... Yeah, okay. I have so many targets. Uh, I'm guessing he's gonna go ahead and take on his father here. I wanna try and see if I can disable... Mommy Dearest here. Uh, if it helps, um... um this guy... Uh, from your cult knowledge, you could have probably put it together by now that he's the dagger and she is the dove. Of course. Um, if that's what you call them. He is, no, he's but, the ass and she's the bitch. Uh, sure. But I want to go ahead and make sure Mommy Dearest is, is uh, disabled as quickly as possible here. You want to go to spy on them? I want to move <laughs> roughly right uh, no, not there. Uh, I want to say roughly right about here. And I want to aim cool. for. I want to aim for her ankles. Fire away, my boy! All right, Splinter, do it. No, but I have a wonderful little thing that I just recently got. Uh, cheese. Just remember, music was a thing. Yep, I just switched it. Yep. Okay. So, uh, here's a here's a wonderful little thing here. I have what's called curving shot. Okay, Ooh. whenever whenever I miss, I can make an I can as a bonus action uh, re-roll an attack against a different target within sixty feet of the original target. So, this guy. Purple. Mm -hmm. That hits. Okay. He will take seven cool. piercing. Uh, you, come I, on, hit him. How's it? Um, that's an interesting thing here. Um, he fires off two arrows. One is actually going to end up hitting the tail end of the other arrow, and it's going to curve into Mr. Ah. Purple here. Very cool. Uh, he looks very surprised. Yeah, it's a big yeah. Unfortunately, like unfortunately for her, I still have a second attack. Natural <laughs> fucking twenty. That is an a better second attack. That is a an enfeebling arrow. So not only does she take this, but she will take this. Okay. 
cool. Okay. Uh. She passes that saving throw. Fifteen. Ah, damn. Okay, that's fine. Uh. Was it damage? Okay, so yeah, so so she just got so she just gets the uh, what was that? That's sixteen damage there, and the uh, effect looks, and the effect doesn't ap apply at that point. She looks significantly more hurt than she did before, uh, thanks to your combined efforts. Was it no fifteen? I'm sorry. Fifteen? Uh, yeah, yeah, not sixteen. Fifteen. Shit. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Marisol. Sorry. That's... It's my turn. Yes. Okay. Well, it's 20 feet, so I'm just going to come right over here. Uh, and when I come over, I'm going to tell her right in the face, and I'm going to say, I may not win today, but you'll never have kids again. I made sure of that. So in a way, I really did win. And I will try to hurt her. Hey, uh, cheese. Yeah. Since I rolled a six on my initiative as well, do we go on the same turn? Well, it'll be like one after the other. I'm gonna, yeah. I hope it works it out. But... Dex is higher. Jordan, uh, pro probably mine. What is it? Um, it's a, the mod is a, Three. Mine's a four. Really? Yep. I'm fair as fucking dexterous. Why is it? Okay. All right. So, real quick, this will help she's you, done. Jordan. Okay. I would like her to make a DC 15 dex save. Mommy dearest. Yep. Ooh, she just missed. 14. All right. She is now restrained as I pull out the rope of Oh, I get it. I get it. The rope I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> You're using it! Yeah, so attack rolls... I get uh, I get advantage, right? <laughs> yep, her speed is zero, attack rolls have advantage, yep. and she has uh, um, disadvantage from deck saves. Uh, she releases your son, and he stumbles back a bit. His hands have come off of his ears, and his eyes have opened, of course, because he's okay. been jostled quite a bit. And he, uh, in this freedom, attempts to scamper away, but Purple Guard grabs him by the the collar of his shirt and yanks him closer. Right, now I'm coming for your attack. shins! <laughs> now for my extra attack. Uh, I need her to make a wisdom save. Jesus. Well, she probably failed. What's the DC? Uh, 16. Yeah, she failed. Alright, I cast Phantasmal Killer. Jesus Christ! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I love that show! Jesus Christ, is that damage? <laughs> yep, she takes 26 points of damage. Oh my god, and she, she is frightened of me for the duration. <laughs> Which is, uh, up to a minute. I think it's something she's different. Looking... Does, don't you, like, create something that she's fearful of? Like, she sees something in her head. Oh, yeah. There oh. are... She sees all four of five of me. Uh, basically shooting her. Jesus Christ, she's terrified. Good. Uh, and she's just, like, flopping around on the ground like a fish. Yep. The bitch? The whore? Okay. <laughs> Continue along, Marisol. So, so, just for everybody to know, I used my blood curse of the invisible knife, and I mutilated her genitals so she can't ever have kids again. That's just to let up. everyone know. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Uh, yep. Yeah. They've been trying. She's a terrible mother. The All right, so I get advantage. Yum yum yum. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, you hit. That, that hits works. as well. It does. Yeah. She's mage. So they have shit ACs. Cool. Um, and I have draining strikes. Hold on. So that's an additional one d four times two. Okay. That's necrotic damage. Uh, and those are temp HP points for me. And I have a bonus action, so I am going to use Blood Curse of the Pain. 
Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. But <laughs> is that your turn? Um, let's see. I don't think I get to do that additional 1d4 yet, so I will be fair and not roll it. Okay. But yes, that should be it. Alrighty. Fill up. Also, I forgot to roll for the guards, so I'm gonna use, uh, Leon's turn for that one, and then you two can just share a turn. You can do combo attacks. Make- does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Also, move. You, know, you can probably watch organize um, it a little better so that at least the come next time around, like you can hit the refresh on it so that come right next here. time around it doesn't get confused. I got it. Yeah. There you go. That can be the guards initiative. Cool. Oh, I, was, I was more like It works for me. Last. It doesn't matter. I rolled yep. low. But it is your turn, Philip. So. Uh, um, Philip doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Kill somebody, maybe? Nah, he doesn't really want to. It's he, he's like seeing like he understands that those two had like kidnapped the child, but like at this point, it's like how they're fighting the two of them. It seems like it's like they've got it handled pretty fine, and like it, it kind of feels he he feels bad having to like hurt these people. So he he probably more like uh. Like, just kind of wander. There's a guard roughly gripping yeah. a kid over here. And they're looking at you yeah. with malicious intent. I'm gonna wander over here and get away from, from that issue. This is not gonna help the kid. I, I feel like if I go over there, there's gonna be like a, a stream of just anger towards anywhere. Like, any anything that, that happens around this kid, I feel like is deadly. It's not wrong. I'm getting away from that. <laughs> yeah, you're not yeah. wrong. So I'm just gonna. So you're just, just walking up to that guy. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna. Hey, stab me. What? Why are all of your characters passive assholes? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, the no. the guard is just, just very it. confused. What? Just do it. I, okay. <laughs> he stabs you. Does a thirteen hit? It doesn't matter. He stabs me and he goes like, ah, oh, and he falls down. You're the worst. Okay. <laughs> the guard just looks so confused, but also take 10 damage. Cause if I, uh, it hits you, you don't, you're not dodging, I guess. So. No, he dies. Just straight up dies. The guard looks very confused. In his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, geez, I used my movement to just move one step this way. You're cool. Is that your turn, Philip? Yeah, well, he's dead. At least Great. In terms of... Cool. Guards. Orange takes a step up. Uh, he's going to stab at you, Zeph. Uh, does a 25 hit? Yeah. Takes 16 damage. Oh. Oh, Why does he do so much? God damn. I changed that. Do 10. Okay. I don't know why it did so much goddamn damage. Uh. Neat. Uh, green also stepping up at you. Would like to do. Yep, green's a real piece of shit. Uh, does a 15 hit. It's my second day on the job. Yeah. Okay, uh, take five damage. Damn. Uh, great. <laughs> um, Red's gonna step up to you, Leon, and he's gonna stab at you. Does it, uh, Jesus, that's a 19 again. Did I say 19? 19. Yeah. You said 19. 19. Does that hit, Leon? Oh, uh, yeah, 19 hits. Uh, take 10 damage. Okay. Um, Damn it. This guy goes to back up his friend. This guy steps up to you. Uh-oh. Oh, does a 10 hit? No. It does Cool. It. This guy steps up as well. Yeah, uh, does a 
A nine doesn't hit if a ten doesn't hit. No. You're just very small, and their aim is very bad. They're trying to step on me, and I'm just moving out of the way of their feet. Yeah, they're like, ah, the rat! I'm the <laughs> fucking mouse! <laughs> uh, okay, that is their collective turn. Neff. Okay. Um, I'm kind of just going to step back a little bit to give myself Make an attack more... of opportunity, unless you're... No. Do you have a disengage action? Or, like, I bonus don't... thingy? No, I don't think so. Cool. I don't think so either. So that means they both get to attack you. Cool, cool, cool. Um, a 10 and a 15 to hit. The 15 hits. Okay, take 8 damage. <laughs> 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you got this. I have a question. Yes. Can I cast a spell and still attack? That's a question of the group because I don't remember. Uh, typically speaking, no. The spell attack right. is usually the main attack. Okay. You can like cool. attack and then do a bonus action spell, right? That's how that works. If it's a bonus, if it costs a bonus action, yeah. Then I'm gonna yes. do conjure animals. Do it. Okay, I'm gonna conjure animals. Uh, level three, and get two dire wolves. Oh, I have those. That's why I picked them. <laughs> All right, dope. Don't have pictures, but there you, you go. Uh, do I think you, you need can me move to them, get you pictures for next time. Well, I'm gonna make her get pictures because they're her animals. Oh, so. that's true. Okay. You can get me some pictures. I'll make the tokens for you. Nah. Yeah, I can do uh, that. Move them wherever you want. Nah. Oh, um, I just kind of want them hanging out on the side of me for right now. Okay. They're very scary. Yeah, <laughs> that's the point. Uh, is that... <laughs> can they attack? Hold on. They can't... Uh, this... Does it say here? Um... Oh, uh, they'll does... just go on your initiative. Yeah. So on your next turn? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Did you upcast? You're using words I don't understand. No, because it's, it's a level oh. three. Because it's a level three okay. spell. I couldn't remember. Okay. Um. Hit. What does she have to do to get out of this thing? Ha. <sighs> The bitch could run. What? Okay. <laughs> She's all tied up. <laughs> Too bad. It's probably a strength save. Yes. That's how that works. Uh, does a 16 get out? I don't know how those breaks work. It should be against his spell DC. What's your spell DC, Leon? Hey, what is she trying to do? Break out of a rope. Uh, it's a 15 strength save. Then she's out. Okay. Uh, weird mom strength that you didn't think she was capable of uh, occurs. And then she is going to... <laughs> yeah, she's going to cast Thunder Wave. That should count as her action. Yeah, yeah the breaking out was her action, so... Oh, yeah, you're right. Then... What's the... Let me read something. Hold on. She got a bonus action and movement. Yeah, but if she runs away, I get an attack of opportunity. Yep. Depending on which way she runs, I might as well. Yeah, great. Um, Listen, that rope's a... never gonna work again. Yeah, that's just fucking her turn then, because there's nowhere she'd run. Alright, make me um, another wisdom save then. Oh, shit. Twelve. Take another. Oh wait, I already rolled the damage on this tonight. She takes twenty-six points of psychic damage as Phantasmal Killer hits her again. What does that look like when you drop her? Uh, what do you mean? You kill her. Oh, well, it's just in her head, so she won't go unconscious. I'm not trying to kill her, but it basically just looks like uh, all five of me shoot at her at once. So she breaks out of a rope and she climbs to like her hands and knees, and then she looks up and sees 
the five versions of her child, which she so despises, um, they shoot at her and she fucking collapses. Um, great. <laughs> that is her turn. That well, she's fucked. So, Fuck that bitch. Daddy dearest, uh, swings on you, Sunny boy. Uh, does fifteen hit? Uh, let's check. Just barely. Fifteen is it? My armor class. We'll pick ten damage. I'm really uh, and- fucking hurt, guys. Yeah, and then he's gonna spin and swipe at you, Marisol. Does a 16 hit? Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, did something. Like six damage. That's it. <laughs> All he did was he take my bad. MVP away. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. How does great weapon fighting work? Hold on. You roll any ones or twos? Oh, on that one, he rolled yep. two ones. Then he can re-roll... Uh, both dice. Fucking Mary Soul touches her cheek and like, all oh, that for a drop of blood. Uh... You fucking loser. Shit. Seven so there's your new roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven. Alright, he hit me twice. That's he it. hit you once. He hit... Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is like, he took away my oh. temp HP and then docked me two points. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Great. Mm. <laughs> and those are his two attacks. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Colin. Uh, these guys are way too close. I really don't like this. <laughs> How much damage did I take? Ten? Yeah. Uh, my fucking phantasmal killer's gone. Well. Okay. Um, they are way too close for me to shoot with a bow. So I'm gonna have to take. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull out one of my uh, little hand axes. Woohoo! And uh, I'm going for the. I'm going for their. Uh, for their again. I'm. I'm not tall, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I am very, very really? small. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for their ankles here. I'm gonna try and see if I can get them to not walk no more. So here's Flint. That is not good. Also, Your rolls that... are shit today. Yeah, no, tell me about it here. Second attack. Yeah, you rolled the natural 20 earlier. Yeah. And... Wow! Mm-hmm. Wow! It just, like, bounces off their boots. I... Damn it! Fuck. Are all your weapons the shit you picked up off the ground? <laughs> pretty... Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's fine. Uh, it's and... Savaged. It's very that being said here uh i feel very 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 close to being stomped on here so i'm gonna leave uh let's see here i'm gonna go over to the one that's trying to attack this kid and i uh yeah no yeah i'm gonna do that they not get attacks of opportunity. Oh, they get attacks of opportunity. They, they have do. they have attack, attacks of opportunity. They just have to roll at disadvantage. Uh okay. Or at one least one of them. Seven. At least one of them has to run it. Roll it. And the other rolled a ten. None of them hit. So yeah, they swipe at you. But again, <clears> you're so little. And so fast. Uh, I'm goddamn fast. Fast. Uh, is that your turn? Uh. Yeah, that's all I can really do here. Well, yeah, that's all I can really do here. Uh, yeah, next. Marisol. All right. Um, I'm going to use my Scytherino on him because I'm not allowed to kill the mother. <laughs> Uh, and I'm flanking, so advantage. And those are uh, with the minus four for the bane. Oh no, never mind. Bane's not. Uh, Bane's yeah, gone because she's yeah. down. So, well, down. Uh, yeah, those both hit. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, this includes the drain strikes. So, the the necrotic is also what he'll take. And as a bonus action, I'm going to use one of my transfusion dies from so from his bleeding buddy. I'm gonna make that leave his skin 
his his mm-hmm. veins. And I'm gonna transfer that right into Leon. Cool. So total that was oh plus five. Healing. So five comes out of him as well. Uh, not really. It's like he's already bleeding, so I'm using the already already their blood, so he doesn't take any additional damage from transfusion. How, how much healing do I get? It's just five. You get five. He's still going strong. That's Did I roll point. any? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on. I rolled some twos. Mm-hmm. Uh, one... <laughs> And two. So that is... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on, I gotta do math really quick. Fucking grape weapon fighting. Nine plus three plus one yeah, plus... Yeah, I'm gonna send you something here real quick. A friend of mine figured this out here. And... Alright, so he takes 24 damage from me. Jesus, I gotta do some quick math. Yeah, then. uh, Jordan, I'm gonna send you something here, because it'll probably... it'll probably help you out here a little bit better than my macro. Mm. Okay. Yeah, his armor holds up pretty well. Uh, he is bleeding, but he's not. And before my turn ends, I'm gonna say um, you once clipped Leon's wings. I clipped your horse. And mean, that's it. Is angry. Uh, <laughs> uh, Leon. All right. Firstly, I'm going to cast blindness on Father. Cool. So that's going to be a con save. Oh, that's a seventeen. That succeeds. Uh, bonus <laughs> action. I'm going to look behind him to my soul, and. I'll use an inspiration die and say, I love you. Aww. Aww. That's it. So you get a D8 inspiration. Mm. That was cute as fuck. Yeah. Also, don't you love that your healer just chose to die? Yep. <laughs> um, speaking of, unless that's, is that your turn? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Philip. Uh, your buddy's looking not so great, and your other buddy um, over here is also could use your help. I imagine. Well, do you want do you want healing or do you want the child? You're the child. well. That's up to you. Hmm. That's that. Eh. Uh. I have. Uh, that is that later on. You're so quiet. That's because I'm not talking to my mic. Yeah, yeah there we go. Is that a bonus action? Yeah, it is a bonus action. Is that a bonus action? Sure. How many? Six. Okay. Six for what? That. Oh. That. Did you wake yourself up? Hmm? Did you get up from your your false life to, to just stand up? No, I'm not standing up. I'm still on the floor. You're just, I can just cast laying on the... Who are you healing? It's six people. Oh, six so, people for that much? Yeah, it's uh, five... Plus you the, are whispering your role here too. And you're so and you're so quiet. I, I can really hear you. I didn't mean to whisper it. I forgot that it was uh, still on GM. Tell me. I don't uh, know how to read your thing. Tell me how much health are you doing or dealing it's back? Five plus three. Eight. Yeah. It's mental heal, math. Uh, heal on six people. I don't do math, mental math at all. So but everybody even, like, gets eight ones. health back. Um, Yay. No. I'll just crawl over here. Is he super quiet for anyone else, or is it just me? No, he's fine with me. Why are you so you... quiet, Green? I don't know. You turned me down. Probably because I'm really no, you're loud turned... normally. You're turned all the way up. 
Mm -hmm. Now it's better. Okay. Um, the guards. <laughs> Fuck you, Leon. He, can, he gets an op uh, opportunity to attack. Oh, yeah. Does a 10 hit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it hits. I'll take 8 damage. I'm not taking that, but it doesn't hit. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Guards. Hmm. Fun. These two roll up on you, my love, Neff and I. Um. Does a 12 hit? <laughs> yep. Okay, take 7 damage. Uh, and the 24 armor. also hits, so take another 7 damage, so 14 total. Cool. Um, this guy goes here, this guy goes there, that guy goes there. Um, I'll roll on him last. So, Philip, you're getting yep. one attack on you. Does a 16 mm -hmm. hit? No. Mm, great. Um, Colin. It also doesn't hit. Oh shit, what? Th th their attack misses you. Uh, you're good. Uh, Mary Soul. Fast as That's fuck, an 11 boy. that definitely doesn't hit. Yeah, no. Uh, you know, if a 14 or a 21 hit Leon? Let me open that bad boy up. Probably does. A 21 definitely will. 21 defo does. I'll just do it for him. Cool. Uh, ouch. On that. Cool. Um, and then also I'm gonna do something fun. So little Elios down here, he uh grabs a stick from the shore and he just bonks that guard in the back of his knees. This one right here, purple. And uh <laughs> purple like falls to one knee and goes, Ow, fuck and lets go of Elios, so he sprints away a little bit and he's cowering over here uh and that is their turn Neff and your wolves and my wolves okay um I want to I want to attack orange guy with my scimitar <clears throat> That hits. Cool. And then can I have left wolf attack orange and right attack green? Yes, roll for them. Uh, hey, look Sorry. what I found. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna hit the right thing. Yeah. And then two. I'd say, I don't know. You choose who you want to be who. I was thinking top was left, bottom's right. Okay. Just because uh, of the order I said it. Yeah, they both hit. So they both get a, a good have, chomp taken out of them. Was a pack tactics. Oh, no. oh, and pack tactics. Remind they me how that works. They always get uh, advantage. They have advantage. Yeah, yeah. there's an advantage, so you could roll. Well, I mean, they both hit if you want to roll again, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do have back tactics. I mean, it just, just means I can like, potentially get a crit. Oh, yep. they have to do their saving throw. Yeah. Um, we'll just add that 13, because I'm feeling generous. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they have to make? Strength throw? Uh... I'll be knocked prone. <laughs> uh, this guy is knocked prone. Okay. Woo! Physical attacks have uh, advantage on him. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He gets a boot. Tactics, anyways, already had a advantage. Actually, she has advantage now. Yeah, now she has advantage. Woohoo! Oh, wow. You should become a die wolf so you can get pack tactics. Uh, is that your turn, Neff and I? Yeah, I'm going to call that good for now. Cool. Uh, she's gone. Uh, Daddy O is going to swing on you first, Marisol, because you're here. Does a 17 hit? Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, take 12 damage. I can do your worst, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, he feels like it. He swings on you again. A dirty 20 hits. Take another 12 damage. Alright, so 24 total? Yeah. He's just bop, bop, with his big ol' sword. No worries. I love yeah. being able to just get temp HP every time I attack somebody. It's pretty nice. Okay, great. Colin, my love. Tis your turn. Oop, I am muted. Okay, uh... Colin is not liking this one bit here. He's got all these giants around him here, and he really fucking hates it. He's going to move over to the side here, take aim at Daddy Dearest here, more specifically the back of his shins. Over his unconscious mom. No, fuck his unconscious mom. I'm going right through uh, Murray Soul's legs and aiming for his legs. And we're going to shoot. Damn it! Aww. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna cur we're gonna curve shot that again here. So okay, I'll go ahead and oh. hit. I'll hit this. I'll go after this guy then. Cool. Did that I, hit. Did I take any damage? A little bit. Seven. Okay. Uh, I did it. So don't worry about it. Okay. And lastly, I'm gonna. For my second attack again, I'm gonna go ahead and go after this guy again. Hopefully, I actually hit. Fuck yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you got some little, little uh arrows at him, and he looks uh pretty annoyed. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, he is comparatively to when you first saw him, not looking too great, but he does have. Uh, two people and a, and a mouse shitting on him right now. So, <laughs> I'm about uh, to I'm about to blow my hole, dude. <laughs> like yeah. I'm gonna use my whole kit. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Uh, is it you have more, Colin? Uh, I think that well, that would normally be my thing here. But he's a, he is ang he has angered me. Papa Bear has, so I'm <laughs> going to take the action surge. Do it! And Papa Bear is going to be missing. Is going to be missing his ankles and shins by the end of this. <laughs> no! <laughs> there. Now take that. <laughs> he does take that. All right. That's. You got to quit trying to be cool, Josh. It doesn't work for you. It really doesn't. I don't just. I don't know why. All right. That's the, that's it. the end of my he turn. Curves off and hits turn. the mom in the head. Uh, our, Thankfully, it's a close spin, so he should be. So she should be fine. Right. Our uh, frightening couple decide what you're <laughs> doing on your turn. Uh, do you want to go first, or what? Uh, well, I gave you inspiration. I can give it again if you go first. All right, I'll go first. So, um, okay, I am going to first give. No, I'll wait until after. Okay, so attack one. Uh, on dad? Yep. All this okay, is going to be on dad. Uh, I'm going to pour in two hit dice to double the damage. So I think Great. you get to roll something specific. Let me double check. Oh, I just get to roll the hit dice. Yes. Okay. So I'm spending, I'm dropping two. So that's in addition. Nice. Uh, then I will hit him again. And I will do two more hit dice. Uh, and then as my bonus action, I will give more healing to Leon. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty, um, so he... let me total that up for you. Six plus two plus nine plus nine plus seven plus three plus five plus six. Forty-seven damage. Uh huh. Cool. Uh, fuck. He is officially you down. No, not quite, but he's close. <laughs> okay. Water. All right, uh, Mary Soul, I apologize for this because. I'm in a perfect position to use this. What? Yeah. Are you gonna hit me? Yeah, just a bit. 
Oh, that's fine. Hit me. I got HP, man. I'm gonna cast Shatter. Jesus! Oh, that mean, might hurt. <laughs> a oh, radius to make a con save for me. How? Oh, con? I should. Oh, you're good. All right. Where are so you? Where is everyone around me? You're gonna kill your mother. She'll take a death save, but that's fine. Two. Nope, just one. Since it's a rainbow deck. Jesus. Um. Th well, let me roll some more for the guards. Uh, your dad fails. Good. He takes. All that. three guards pass. Damn. All right. I got a sixteen, so, a seventeen, and an eighteen. Oh, well, I guess Tyo's the attacker, so one of them fails. Okay, so. So those so that failed take twenty-four points of damage, and. And those that succeeded take 12. 12? Yep. Um, cool. Did any of these three get attacked? I can't quite remember. I this have like now. This one has a skull of some kind on them. So That's just his there. color because I ran out of. There wasn't enough yeah. color options. So he's mm -hmm. just the skull guy. Uh, he's their emo stepbrother. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, um, the, the guys up top, no, I don't think they've taken any damage. Yeah, then they, they're they not doing too hot. And how much does a fail take again? That was 16? 24. 24! daddy yeah. looks rough. Yeah. Damn. Bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself. No, on Mary Soul. See, I hurt her a bit, so I'm going to cast this at level 3. No, I can only do a level 2 since it's a bonus spell. Take 11 points of healing, Jordan. Oh, you should have given that to yourself. Oh, nope. Great. Uh, is that your shared turn? Yep. Yeah. Fill up. An awake boy. Walk over at the... If you take oh, attack of opportunity. Oh, for the That's love fine. of God. Two of no, them. They're not gonna hit. Just there's three. Three? Yeah, because he was right. Oh, there next is three, three over there. <laughs> uh 15, 12, 12. No. Jesus. I have a plate and a shield and shield. Well, oh yeah. I'll make it better later on. Uh I walk over here. I, uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. I, uh, Sleep at the I slap your ankle. Why is it doing the radiant damage? What is, what is, what is, what is, what is that? Oh, it's, it's life spirit. transference. Take that off. Yeah. Well, I know, I just, I was figuring out what the radiant is. Oh, oh, so, oh. So, uh, Leon, you take tw 34 points of healing. Oh. Wow. 19, 17 points of damage. Jesus. 17 points of damage. 34, you said, right? Yeah, because it's 17 times 2. Math! Uh, I've officially hurt myself more than they did. I am one point away from being full health. Cool. Woohoo! Thank you. That one, That's your turn! And... You should go back? No, I was I was figuring out where my how much movement I had. Oh. Like, ten. Uh, yeah, I have ten feet. I would say crossing over her makes that difficult terrain, though. Okay, Fucking then I'll feel free I... to stop on our face. As your best, but... Yeah. Well, well, I did kind of see... waddle over her. I'm just gonna say that's your full movement because it takes. It's okay, yeah, you yeah. have hollow bird bones. Hollow bird bones. He He's also super a giant weird. fucking bird of prey, but whatever. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's seen an owl fully stand up, but it's... They're giant. This guy's three feet tall. Mm hmm I don't know if you knew that, Alyssa, Neff, and I. Fucking, <laughs> this bird is three feet tall. Seven. <laughs> Jesus. That's the, the biggest fucking bird I've ever four. seen. The only thing that weighs much on this guy here is his armor. Right? Oh, I don't know how he holds and it up with those little birdie bones. Maybe well, the I'm muscle. I'm very strong. Okay, uh, guard's turn. So... Uh, hold on to your ass cheeks, Leon. You got two on you. One of them rolled uh, a dirty 20. The other rolled a nat this one. Has a disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> uh, a 19. 
And the other rolled a one. Uh, the 19 hits. Okay, um, uh, that is nine damage. Actually, wait, no, it doesn't have this. Okay. So um... Well, actually, sorry, I, I keep forgetting what Sentinel does. I keep mixing it with other things. If that one attacks him, I get to, to whack it. Okay, take a whack, my boy. I'm gonna hit his foot. <laughs> they don't have a ton of health, so uh, this guy is... I'm just gonna say he's down for the count. It's non-lethal. I... I'm just hitting him in the foot. Burn! I, I pushed stuff in front of me, so I had to move it. There we go. Um... Our friends around here move. Uh, Marisol. Jesus Christ, a nat 20 and then a 15. Uh, both a hit. Who's a good, who's... Cool. Um, the going after total? Her? Yes. Oh. So the one of them, because it got double damage, it rolled a 10 twice. So total is 26, because the other was 6. So. Okay. Ouchie, ouchie. Uh, Colin. Okay. A 12, a, hit. A 12 does not hit. God Whoa. damn, these guys are terrible at hitting, rolling high on attacks. They're my stormtroopers. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me every time. Well, yeah, some of them are my stormtroopers. Uh, Neff and I. A 16 and a 7 to hit. 16 hits. Take 12 damage. Ouch. Uh, and our boy down here has been captured again. Not for long. Though he does get to a good... He does smack the guy pretty good with his stick. Uh, but the guy still has him. Okay. Now for I. Okay. Um. I think I'm just gonna keep slashing away at these guys with my scimitar. I'm gonna go... Advantage on the guy with the boot. I was just gonna ask if that counts as physical. So it does. Mm hmm Okay, cool. It's melee. So Yeah, I'm gonna go for the orange guy. Nice. And then Damn. just snapping him. My little dire wolf babies are gonna same thing. Left goes for left guy, right goes for right guy. Oh boy. Don't forget they have advantage. Yeah. Mm. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh I'm guessing the twenty ones hit. Yeah. This guy's almost fucking dead. So Cool. Yeah, and then you knocked out the other one. Cool, cool, cool. I wanna take a wild guess and say you're moving your wolf there. Yeah. Thanks. Just uh, I'm being helpful. Also, because I, I don't think you can move those. it a lot. I don't also don't think you can move those. <laughs> no, no, but she can direct you where to put them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what I was gonna do. Yep, so. we're the same person. <laughs> uh, Daddy O, he's pissed and very hurt. So, Leon, does an 18 hit? Yeah, everything hits. <laughs> Ten damage, uh, and then again he's gonna spin around and go for you, Marisol. Uh, shit, he rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> um, uh, that is, let me math real quick. That is a uh, fourteen damage. Okay, <clears throat> I'm almost dead. Oh. Ow, I see that. Cool. Um, <laughs> Colin. Yeah. Alright. I can see that Marisol has this pretty much underhand, in hand here. Uh, but I see the kid is being ushered Marisol away by... Stabbed the chest. What? So Marisol just got stabbed in the chest. Like, she's got this. Well, also, the kid is being Honestly, led away like, here. So... I'm not yeah, I feel like that, that could happen with Marisol, though, is you could really just get run through and just be like, fuck you, bro. <laughs> because of the way that your body is built. <laughs> yeah. It's like... So, she fucking grabs the blade and pulls herself closer. Right, yeah, like, that's something that you could do. Uh, and I love that for you also. It's so, fucking terrifying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell... Uh, before I start moving, I'm just gonna tell her, I'll get the kid! 
<laughs> I'll move right here, and I want to shoot this asshole who's trying to take the kid away. Do it! Do... Splinter! Good! That's a 15. Yeah, that hits. Thank God. And uh, that is also going to be another enfeebling arrow. Remind me what that does. And I'm putting it in the chat right now. Oh. There you go. Um, creatures hit uh, by the arrow takes an extra uh, that damage here. Uh, it must also succeed on a DC 15 con save uh, or the damage dealt by its weapon is halved until the start of the next turn. So so he failed that and he's looking very rough. Rough enough that Elios slips out and uh, runs towards the woods. Oh, he's... N he's n well, the kid is fine here. I'm not going to let the kid uh, get too far away from me here either. But uh, I definitely want to go ahead and make sure this guy is not following. So I'm going to hit him again. Oh, you... Uh, yeah, you. I don't care how much damage it is. You kill him. Okay. Hold on. I have stuff on that side of my screen. So he needs to just Sorry. Be... <laughs> Sorry. Turn uh, uh, that Elios has a horrible fear of mice. <laughs> uh, they live in the walls, man. Hey, we're helpful. Uh, <laughs> I live in walls. It's never been more true uh, mm -hmm. in this universe. <laughs> and I am... Uh, Honestly, I don't think I have anything else that I can use as a bonus action at the moment, so I am going to be good. Cool. The lovers. Do what you, you will. I go first this time, Jordan? Sure. Okay, I'm going to pull out my short sword that I've used like twice in my life. Oh, wow. Uh, and I'm going to attack him with advantage because I'm blanking. Uh-huh. That hits. So it takes eight points of piercing damage. Uh, and then I'm going to use Healing Word. And let's go ahead and do it at third level. Mary Soul will take 12 points of healing. Woohoo! Thank you. Uh, okay, so when you stab your father, um, how do you take him down? Uh, man, I wanted Mary Soul to have this, but I didn't want to make sure she didn't die. Um... I just, you know, he's facing Mary Soul last time you said, right? Mm. I basically fucking hamstring his knees. Like the tendons on his knees, just cut those. He ow. falls to them, ow, and then uh, rolls onto his back. And he uh, is just barely conscious. Con yeah. Conscious. Those are uh, fluid sacs and un and tendons here. You have... Yep. He is in excruciating yep. pain. Oh, he is yeah, never going to walk again. He oh, is yeah. going to die. Uh, extra attack. Uh, I, I pull the blade and basically stab like behind me to get the guard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you murder that guy. <laughs> He does not get my mercy. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna fuck with some things. And I wanted both the parents to be non-lethal, by the way, so... Yeah, I'm moving my stuff around, so it's that. It looks like that. Uh... You okay. To also, this guy's not dead. Cool. Um, there's him. Um, I'm going to turn around and look at these morons, and okay. I'm going to say, I have no quarrel with you. If you run now, I won't kill you. Uh, Ooh. yeah, these guys aren't as easily intimidated as some of the other folks you've come across. If you'd like to roll intimidation, you can, but this alone won't make them run. I'm giving them one offer. If they don't run, I will I will decapitate them. They're not going. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh first one will be on this guy. Mm -hmm. 
I'm no longer flanking, so... <laughs> that hits. Uh, I don't think that guy's been attacked yet, but he's looking rough. Okay, uh, I'll do it on the same dude then. Yeah, he's dead. I don't even... Uh, yeah, while I kill him, him, while I kill him, I'll look at the other two. Like, my, like, I'm not even paying attention to the one as I kill him, I'm just staring he, at these two. Yeah, he just falls to the ground. Uh, this guy takes a step back. Now I know who the kid is running from. Um, it, when I see him take a step back, I will use my, uh, pain. Oh, shit. And also, use your scythe. Huh? What? Oh yeah, it's attack of opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hit. And uh, because I use that bonus action, I get the roll. Well, just take the one. He's... It rolled automatically. Yeah. Well, he'd been attacked before, so he's fucking dead. You just imagine Mary Soul was like Jane from Twilight. She's like pain. <laughs> and he pain. <laughs> yeah, I dig that. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Now my eyes will just be on this person. I don't he's know. He lost nice. his chance to run, so he's dead. Does it uh, for me? Uh... Mm. Mm. Could... Could prevent him from dying for at least a minute. Say that one more time. Could prevent him from... I could just banish him. <laughs> no, I... I did non-lethal, so he's not dying. No, not him. I'm talking about the guard. The poor uh, soul. Uh, Yellow or green? Uh, well... Uh, I'm over here. Well, I, um, oh, sorry. I looked away mm -hmm. for a second. My screen's so goddamn big I can't keep track of anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You're not using a laptop I, yeah, screen I'm anymore. Yeah, I'm used to my laptop screen, so I'm like, I have my screen is huge. <laughs> eh, whatever. Um... Now so you need another one. Again. Mm. Very so yeah, that all... or... That's not yeah. a hit. No. You kill him. No, nah, it's not a kill. It's what a is it? Oh, you did life it's transference. Fucking yeah, I, 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 I kill myself. Do you kill two points of healing. To me? Life transference is, yeah. Thank Aww. you. Cool. Uh is that your I, turn? I, I damaged myself. Literal life transference. It's really cool. That's I didn't so know it, it doubled the heal. It's nice. Excellent. I have a, a life pool, and I uh, hardly get hit. I can just use my my HP for healing. Very cool. Uh, um, yeah, that and um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that'll be it. Cool. Guards. The the the. Two guards. Uh, so yellow uh, is gonna whack at you, Philip. Eighteen to hit. No. Great. Uh, green is gonna stab for a puppy. Sixteen to hit. I that hits. I, okay. Uh, it takes uh, fourteen damage. Oh boy. Puppy. No, I need to figure this part out. It's it's that puppy. They should um, um I don't know if there's actually a way to count it, just remember it. Oh, they're okay. How much was it? Fourteen. Okay. I'm doing that. Oh, sorry, hold on. Uh yeah, that was his turn though. Um because there's I'm only figuring two out of them. my own brain. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, your turn. Definitely. Okay. Um. You said this guy wasn't looking too hot, right? Mm. Um. I'm just gonna stand there and watch my wolves go after him. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. While they they're doing that, I'm kind of just gonna like stretch a little bit, like. They just go know, in on him. They They're stretch. ripping him apart. It's very yeah. brutal. You people scare the shit out of me. The only wholesome <laughs> here is Colin. 
What? And that's me after me shouting, I'm going to take your shins. You're just a little mouse. He's a violent little mouse. <laughs> Granny left. Well, no, Granny was pretty scary, too. I'm Granny, not going to lie. Yeah, she's terrifying. Uh, two of my forms that haven't come out yet are wholesome. Aw, that's why we haven't seen them yet, probably. Yep. Uh, They're not needed right now. Okay. Uh, is that your is turn now? going to do anything? Yeah, well, I'm going to call that good. Colin, one guard left. What is, yeah. did this guard take his turn? Yeah, yeah, he, he missed. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Colin's just gonna move right here. Scurry around that dead guy. Yep, scurry around him because he's probably considered uh, what's it called here? Difficult terrain for someone like me. And I'm gonna go ahead. Take aim and aim at the back of his shins because, let's face it, that's probably going to be the only thing that's not armored. Yeah, you hit him. Yeah, you kill him. He's dead? I just. Yeah. Um, well, if, it's go if I'm going for the shins with a toothpick well, here, that's. He's then he's probably, not dead. He's Fine. Not dead. You don't he's, kill him. He's just on the ground <laughs> in pain. Like, he's on the ground writhing in pain. Marisol. <laughs> Unless you want to finish him off, Colin. I oh, you no, I, you're, you're trying to end my turn before I'm even done. Sorry, I'm stressed. <laughs> I'll, hit, I'll, I'll, hit him, I'll, hit, I'll hit him one more time in order to knock him out completely here. You kill him. <laughs> oh, well, he's dead. That's fine. I don't care. Yeah. Violent you little beat mouse. my kidnap puzzle. Puzzle? Fuck that. This is a this is combat. This is a slaughter. It, it was a puzzle. The answer was murder. <laughs> the answer was death. Okay, um I, I am will... just gonna clear out guards for a minute. I oh yeah, go ahead. The woods to go get my son, because I am much faster than <laughs> Yeah, he You're... was just lingering at the edge, he's hiding behind a tree. Okay, I'll just like pick him up, give him a hug. And oh, that's just so sweet. Somebody pick me up. I'm too small. And uh, another life transference. 20, so 40 points of healing to Neff. Oh, thank you. I'm at uh, 8 HP. How the fuck do I get rid of the initiative tracker? Uh, click the same button you pushed. To bring that's it what I did. The clock? Click the clock. Yeah. Is doing nothing. Reload your game. Yeah. <sighs> but basically, I'm just like, I have my son in my arm. Like, are you all right? Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? It's do you have enough life. juice? <clears throat> uh, you, where do you bring him? Uh, I kind of shield him from the dead bodies. Oh, there's a shit so, ton of them, yeah. So yeah. probably just stay over there. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Just pick the, yeah. Just pick me up here, Phil. Just over here, blocking. I'm. I am not stable. Oh. Oh, why the hell aren't you? St oh God. Uh, and I uh, constantly. Ah, uh, he's ex he's his healing hurts. All right, oh, all so right, all right. Know, Take a yeah. sit down here, right here, right next to me. <laughs> I tell the others to uh, tie up my parents and put them on the back of a horse. What do you want me to do? I'm, all I've got is twine. Rope of entanglement. None of you carry rope? I have you should twine. All carry rope. You should all uh, rope and twine. It is... I, I can't carry can rope on me. All I have is this. He I will up toss a... them the rope I have and the rope of entanglement. I throw the rope and entanglement on the dad. Cool, it entangles him. Yeah. Um, I basically tuck uh, Elias' head into my chest to shield him, and I'll walk back to my horse and Mary's soul. Uh, yeah, he's got his little little fists gripping your shirt, <clears throat> and his head is buried in your chest, and he's squeezing you real hard. And he's real quiet. Um, he's generally a quiet boy. Especially around strangers, but like you know, this is different. Yeah. Uh, your your parents are still alive. Are you taking them back in? Yep. All right. All right. I'm going to say to my son, 
You've been very brave. I'm proud of you. But I need you to sleep now. I'm not gonna sleep on him. Well, uh, how the fuck does the Fey resistance thing work? Uh, shit, yeah. He well, he's, he's a fucking, he's half he, elf, bro. Hold on, does half elf get it or just I think so, yeah, yeah, they, they, they still get uh, advantage okay, against the Sally. I would know that, never mind. <laughs> on the sleep thing. Vulcan neck pinch him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I whack him on the back of the head with the butt of my gun. Oh. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I <laughs> no. mean, you could, I could, I could do a little pistol with it. smacky smack. Yeah, oh, you! Yeah, this is no, why you're no. not there to parent him. <laughs> this is why you're not a father. No. Yes, uh, I'm not a father. You're correct. I I'm not. Talking... <laughs> you are indeed correct. Uh, I was talking. Okay, about, so I was talking about him, but <laughs> instead, once we like put the parent to the back of the horse, get far enough away from the bodies, I will tell Elios. Um, you've been very brave. There's someone I want you to meet. She's, she's a little scary at first, but you know, once you get used to her, she's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, and I will present him to Mary Soul. Just hold him out like Simba. No, just like turn him. No, yeah. <laughs> I probably uh, look. I probably look yeah. terrifying right now. <laughs> in blood and dirt. <laughs> and... Right, right before I turn around, present hesitation on her. <laughs> Clean her up. Uh, but sure. Yeah, because that's. <laughs> Fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Mary Soul. Uh, he just looks at you. Yeah. Uh, this is the first child I'm seeing. <laughs> you've seen children like on the streets before. No, this, no. Is, the, this is the second one you've seen. Really? Considering your backstory. And like, you've oh. seen kids in like public. But They're I don't know, it's, it's like away. different. Well, what I mean is like... Met. Uh, yeah. How old is Elios now? He's like four or five. Okay. I guess she will give like okay, a very cool. awkward, rigid wave. <laughs> he just looks like so shell-shocked and terrified, but he waves back. And he goes, hi. Oh, uh, Elios. She actually gave me a gift that I've been meaning to give to you. He just looks at you. And he reaches into his hair and pulls out an origami rose and will place it in Yoyos' hair. He, like, touches it very gently and leaves it there. As long as you wear this, you'll be safe. I promise. You see a little bit of distrust in his eyes, but he doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I get it. I imagine you've promised mm -hmm. him safety before. As has his mother and yeah. everyone around him. It was basically ever. like, uh, like, hey, I'll be gone for a while. Your mom will look after you. Well, yeah, but it's like, and everyone in his life is always like, we got up. you, kid. Well. But, uh, Jordan, I believe you know the rose I'm talking about. Of course I know. Yeah. I've been meaning to give him that since you gave it to me. Yeah, and you told me what it did. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. Yeah. Uh, I know how I feel about that, and it's very fun, considering some behind-the-scenes things I'm working on. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, I'm, I'm just going to make another one, so it's irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but just the implications are fantastic. Uh, anyway. Alright, we go home. You fucking go home! Okay, great. Uh, you return to Relia. Uh, the, it's, you travel through the night, you don't rest or anything? Nope. Let me get this Great. boy behind some fucking I am sleeping walls. comfortably on whomever decided to pick me up. <laughs> uh, excellent. You arrive back at Rilia. Um, uh, the sun has risen about an hour or two ago. It's, as you walk into the gates, the guards are like, they see you and they're like, oh fuck, and they let you in. And, uh, as you move through the streets towards the palace people are are like whispering and cheering when they realize that you have their summer prince returned and the news travels the closer you get to the palace and people are sitting on the the streets as you pass and they're like throwing flowers at you and they're like fuck yeah our prince is back <laughs> um and you enter 
the palace proper and the throne room and uh, Queen Marilyn Rosk is there waiting oh, for wow, you. That thing really isn't going away, is it? A turn order, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of it. So yeah. ignore it. Hit the the X. There should be an there X on no the X. window. Fuck. There's an X right there oh, you <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You need to get That's some sleep my, after this. That's just how my life's been lately. Yeah, I know I still have homework to do. Anyway, um, <laughs> great. So the second that Marilyn sees you, she's sprinting. Forget fucking decorum. That's her boy. And she uh, approaches you, Leon, and her son, and she um, is reaching for him. I don't know if she necessarily is taking uh, him from you, but she's... I'm, I'm going to pull away slightly. She's not, like, taking him, I think. She just, like, puts... She's, like, touching him and, like, nope. touching his hair. I'm You're not gonna let her? I will say, can I actually trust you with our son? Leon. I'm just staring of at Of course. You know that I would never do anything to jeopardize him. You know that, Leon. If anything like this ever happens again, it I will won't. take him and you will never see him again. It won't. Alright, I will hand uh, um, Helios over. He takes him and holds him and he's hugging her back because like, that's his mom, right? And she's crying and he's crying and uh, the uh, palace staff are crying and his guards who feel like shit but are very happy that he's back and uh my music stopped no it didn't uh it's real fucked up <laughs> that really is really fucked up dude what did he do like check the chat in general chat oh Oh. Yeah, just look yeah. at what they're eating. Oh. Um, That's once, messed up. Once um, it has, the stuff has beside a bit, I will um, basically tell the queen that I kept my parents alive and I want to issue out the punishment in front of the court. He nods and says, absolutely. But uh, fucking... Uh, uh, Elios can't be there for. She, yeah, she nods and she's like, "Um, give me an hour yep. to check on him. It will happen." Uh, and then she moves to walk away, and then she stops and she turns to you and says, "Um, your key, Leon. It's um, I know where it is. It's a, it's." in your old rooms. I'll get it later. Right. And she smiles at you one more time and um, Elios looks at you with his big old eyes and with love and tears and he waves bye-bye and she takes him away. Give him one of the, like, three smiles that Leon has made in his life. Capable of. Uh, You guys are, like, ushered to some, like, other, like, guest chambers to, like, Take baths and rest. Uh, no full rest. I mean, there's spoiler alert: no more combat today, so you can full rest your sheets if you need to. Um, uh, but an hour passes, and unless only, you guys are doing anything, only thing I'll do is I'll shower, get all cleaned up, and I will put on the nicest fucking court clothes that I have, like a splendid outfit. Does this mean you return to your old rooms? Yeah, I will go to the uh, kitchen to get more toothpicks. Yes. Uh, if you're in your old rooms, Leon, um, you feel your key. It's in there. Yep. I'm ignoring it for now. It's a pretty strong pull. Yep. I have I have one last order of business, then I will go back gotcha. to the quest. I gotcha. Uh, okay, so your hour passes, unless anyone else is doing something. No, I'm good. Excellent. Uh, and you're all summoned to the throne room, if you choose to go that's up to you um the queen is at her throne and uh the Elune patriarch and matriarch are 
conscious on their knees and chained before the queen. Uh, and the whole court is here. And you can see, like, um, like, like town criers at the back of the room ready to run out and give her uh, edict to the masses. And she calls uh, you, Leon, up to, like, the, the dais by her throne. Dais? Dais? How the fuck do you say that? Either one. Yeah. And she, uh, she's pissed. She is, like, fury incarnate. And she's staring down at uh, her son's grandparents. And to the complete silence of the room, she says, um, what the fuck are their names? Anthony and Catherine? Uh, probably. I think <laughs> that's it. Uh, she goes, um, Anthony and Catherine Alune, for conspiring against the crown, treason, kidnapping, and... General Mayhem, I hereby sentence you to death immediately. And, uh. I wanted to get forward of the punishment. Thought she was doing it. You said she was doing it. No, I said I wanted to be the one. Oh, to do fuck. It. Do your thing then. She gestures uh, you up and says, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Kill him. I want him dead. Uh, the I bastard. will say, like, I will uh, stand in front of them and, like, all of my opulence and my place in the court and just how much better I am than, than them at this point. Um, and I'll say, I thought for a really long time about what I would do to you when I return home. I thought I would disgrace you, find some undercover dealing that you did and have you thrown in prison. I thought I would strip you of your nobility, have you banished from the castle. But this, this was the most heinous thing you could have ever done. So I do strip you of your nobility. I'm going to erase the Yaloon name from history. I won't throw you in prison or banish you because you cannot be suffered to live and I will shoot them both in the face. Oh, fuck! Cool! Um, no last words from them? Nothing? Nope. Not a cool. Word. Your father during your speech... Ah, yes. Your father during your speech is just full of this like righteous fury of his own that uh, we all should know is not very righteous. And your mm. mother is, has been crying the whole time. Um, for whatever reasons you so choose to believe that she's crying for, but she is crying um, angrily. And then you shoot them both in the fucking face and the shots ring out through the entire room and lots of people flinch or scream and cover their ears. And they slump to the floor fucking dead. Uh blood on the fancy carpet and the queen uh she didn't even flinch really um stares down at them and she gestures for someone to remove them uh they are probably lifted and and moved from the room and she raises her chin and she looks at the room and says you're all dismissed go home and she turns around and walks away yeah. A well-deserved fate for a bunch of cultists. Uh, this is the last thing I do, guys. Sorry to hog all the limelight. But um, I will go to my room, go to my workbench, and take the gun that I used to shoot my parents with, and I will cast Shatter on it until it's broken irreparably. Okay. Um, You <clears throat> do that. And as the gun explodes uh, into a billion tiny pieces... Um, from the explosion uh, on your work desk, a golden bullet, uh, bigger than the ones that you've made and use, uh, rises from this this little pile of rubble you've made. Um, and you can tell that it's your key. All right, I will take it. Uh, so you you reach out and take it, and it like hovers in your hand. Uh, and then it dissolves into little golden sparkles and, and like sinks into your skin. Uh, and the second 
the sparkles disappear. You are hit with uh, unimaginable pain. Uh, you feel all five of your yourself um, are filled with this pain in your mind and in your body. And for the first time in a very, very, very long time, you do not have control over who you are. Um, you feel your body shifting and changing between your personalities, and it is unimaginable pain. And I need you to roll me a d6. A 1d6? Yep. Five. Cool. Let me open some things. Uh, There's a sixth person inside I don't know about. My rule was if you rolled a one, you roll again. Uh, you, eventually the pain subsides, does not go away, but it simmers down. And you look at your hands, and you, of course, you recognize them. And when you look up into the mirror in your room, um, your original self, or Coralie, Coralie, Coralie? Her, her, she is staring back at you. Yep. I... Hmm. Um, so do I realize that this is my original self at this point? Uh, I don't think you know that. Oh, yeah, fuck. Um, no, this is just who you are right now. Okay. Um, Real confused. Um, I can't change back to anyone else, right? You try and try and try, and it just hurts, and you okay. cannot. Yep. So I'm going to finally, after the stress of my son going missing, rescuing him, fighting my parents, killing my parents, I'm going to collapse into a chair. And I'm finally going to break down because that's been what I wanted oh! to do. It's what I've been wanting to do since I heard my son was missing, but I had to stay strong. And I'm just going to break my, down and cry. My poor heart. And that's pretty much it for me, unless anyone At... comes to find me. Does anyone come looking for him? I mean, obviously I would. <laughs> well, uh, I think that one was obvious. Yeah. So, you enter his rooms and you see- I would laughing. knock. Hold on. Jeez. <laughs> you knock and you hear fucking crying. Do I? Do I hear crying? Yeah. Or, do you, or no. are you one of those people who'd be like- <laughs> You're a silent crier. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's, it's Coralie, so it's very- very weepy. You've heard women cry before. Ugly hey, crying. Gotcha. I'm a silent crier. Goddamn. Uh, no, she is not a silent crier. So it's ugly crying. Gotcha. Yeah. Ugly crying. Uh, you, get, you hear ugly crying from the other side of the door. Uh, okay, then I will immediately open it. You see Coralie ugly crying <laughs> in a chair. Uh, and there's the rooms basically torn apart due to the shatter. The rose. The rose? You just oh. said the rose. I said the room! The room. You said the rose. But yeah. I, mean, I said the room. The room is torn apart. Ugh. Hey, good news, she's. Uh, the gun that you've been so worried about that's been broken as hell is completely destroyed, so. Yes! I was gonna I did that work for something you. out with you soon. Thank you! Anywho. Uh, you see Coralie sobbing. Um, okay, I guess I will go over and sit on the floor. Not in front, but on the side. And I'll just let her do her thing. It's gonna be a while. That's fine. It's like, how much, how many, how much time did it take to basically get to the the cotton it up until this point. Oh, you mean like how long did it take from? Yeah, like how much time has passed since arriving on the, from the boat to now? What? It's been like two, maybe three days. Yeah. Okay. So it's... Almost. It's like three and a half. 
Close. So three and a half days worth of stress and panic. It's just pouring out right now. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just sit there. Okay. Yep, I think that's it for me now. If anyone else wants to do anything. Yeah. Um, um I do have something for our, our lovely Neff and I. Ooh. Uh oh. so I guess for everybody else, back at the lake, uh, I'd had her roll a perception check. And uh, I'm going to work through that now. So, Neff and I, at the lake, you'd rolled that check. And you had noticed somebody in the woods uh, when everyone else was busy. You couldn't quite see who, but they were watching you. You in particular. Um... And it, it was dark, of course, nighttime, but you could see the that their hair was white and their face was in shadow. And then um, when you were riding into the city, you had also seen a flash of that white hair from what you guessed was a very tall individual. And then again in the throne room, you thought you saw them. And now that you have a moment to yourself uh, in your guest rooms, uh you have an unsettling feeling that you're being watched. Mm. Interesting. Sorry, I'm writing it down. <laughs> Note takers, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> um. Video watchers, I love you! I for sure saw them in the throne room. You weren't you saw the hair, but you weren't quite sure. You could, like, all day it's been, like, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just crazy. Imagining it. Maybe it's been a long day. Maybe you're just imagining it. But now you're like, fuck, there's somebody watching me. Um. Oh, boy. I need... I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. Think all you need. Would I? Okay, here's a question. Are you ignoring it? Or are you... No, I'm very, very interested in it. Okay. All I could see back in the woods was just white hair. And, like, eyes in the shadows and, like, the shape of a person. Mm, can I message you something real quick. Yeah. <laughs> now don't go mm -hmm. thinking it's me, because I don't go sneaking into people's rooms without knocking <laughs> first. And there are uh, critters living in the walls. Uh, but it doesn't, it feels <laughs> like say a tall individual <laughs> with a really big, could be a really big rat. I am a mouse. We're not talking about you. It could be another really big rat. Nah, um, rats are normally very polite. This is a weirdly phrased question, my love. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out if I can get any information from this at all with literally any of the things I have. No, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset the scene. You're in your guest room. Yes. Uh, and that's where you're you're feeling it now. I know. And, and it's, it's like, it. I'm basically what I am right now, that is what Neff is doing. She's like yes. sitting there figuring out if there's any possible way to get any kind of information. She's going through every spell she has, okay. thinking of um, any form she can be. Yes. So you're you're sitting in your room and it's it's mm -hmm. two rooms. You have like the bedroom slash little like there's a desk and the bookshelf. And mm -hmm. then the other room is like a bathing room. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't really tell where in the room this feeling is coming from. You can cast the spell you messaged me about, um, if you'd okay. like. I would like to cast Detect Magic. Cool, will you post it in the chat so I remember what it does? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, I did it privately. I didn't switch That's over. okay, I can read it. Oh, what the fuck are magic types? Um, One second. That's like, uh, Evocation Necrotic... What kind of spell is this? Oh, you can sense illusion magic. Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> you can see where it is and feel where it is at. 
like yeah. uh, so in, in terms around of where how, is like, it in the room? Right by you your window. You see like a glowing like blue oh. hue around where. Yeah, it is. there's like a human shaped hue of. I'm gonna say blue is illusion magic. Uh, like leaning against the wall by your window. I'm just gonna. Is there a chair in the room? <laughs> yeah, it's at the desk. I just, I just want to kind of sit down in the chair and cross my legs. Be like, I know you're there. So if you could just come out, that would make things a lot easier. Yeah, so the second that you uh, acknowledge this person, uh, they drop their invisibility. And I'm posting a picture oh. for everyone to see. It is a very tall uh, elven woman. Very pale skin, very white hair. Oh, boy. Uh, spooky crown, spooky eyes. Oh, boy. Uh, leaning against the wall. She, like, pushes herself off of it, takes a step forward, and says... And she, like, um... Like, tuts, like, oh, Dear Nephini, You've been keeping busy, I see. Yes. How is that any of your business? He leans forward and puts her hands on the arms of your chair, gets real close, and she says, Everything that goes on in this world is my business. Well, considering I don't even know your name, I don't think it is. Oh. Considering I am the Hand of the High Priestess. I understand most things and how they work in this world. He smiles, a very knowing smile, and says, Then, dear, you should know exactly who I am. Uh, if you want to roll, like, insight and history, oh, very low DC. That is a bad sign. Mm, what were the ones you said? I'm sorry. Um, Just do insight. <laughs> I'm gonna message you because I don't want anyone else to know this part yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. <laughs> she might say it. Maybe. Uh, Chief, I have one more thing before we end. By the way, I'll get you. Yeah, just let me know in advance. <laughs> um. I'm kind of just going to look her up and down and say, well, clearly you don't know everything. He, uh, Referring to who they are. Mm. Uh, she lifts a hand and like taps your chin just right under the bottom and goes, oh, Neff and I. I know so much more than you could ever imagine little priestess, but uh, I took a special detour to see you right now. You should feel grateful. I'm feeling more annoyed than anything, truly. She gives you a, a up and down look and says, I'm not sure that's what I'd call it. And she stands up and walks back to the window and says, I'll see you around, priestess. And then she's gone. Hmm. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, that was fun. <laughs> Heresy detected. <laughs> 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 uh, great. Oh, God. Why does flirting as a hot big lady make me nervous? <laughs> okay. Um... Wait, what? <laughs> uh, Leon, do your thing. It's not Leon anymore. Oh, Coralie, do your thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. changing the names. All right. Um... <laughs> Corlai will, um, once the crying has subsided, she will ask, um, Marisol and say, 
Um, would you mind just giving me a few minutes? There's something I need to do. I'll call you back in when I'm ready, okay? I guess I'll stand and leave, but I'm going to be kind of listening in for her doing anything stupid. So you I can... gunshot. Whoa! No! Breath, no! I would murder you! <laughs> um, I will open up my window. I'm on the first floor, because I never like being too far away from the earth. Okay. And I'll step outside into the, the grass and the dirt. And uh, Coraline has always been barefoot. <laughs> um, She will kind of dig her toes into the dirt... Uh, grab handfuls of grass and she will pray Aww. to the planet and basically say I'm I'm very lost right now I could use some guidance hmm. roll me a religion check oh I'm not good at that I also will pull out the symbol that I have for uh, Vapra. Vapra. Uh, for context, it's a tree. Where's my religion? Yeah, fuck, this sucks. Do I get advantage for anything? Yeah, I'm feeling generous. Awesome. Sixteen. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> um. So you you send out this prayer to the Earth, and you get the impression you get like the, the feeling of like warm sunlight on your skin and uh like like warm fires and hot drinks and and things like that and you also get a very vivid image of in your mind of a golden pyramid in a desert um and the, the sun reflects off of it almost blindingly bright it's the it's the scorching heat opposed to the the warmth you were feeling and uh if you'd like to roll a history check you might be able to know what that means sure really no advantage just regular history okay. yeah, cool you immediately recognize this probably from your travels as the National Museum in the country of Elanad. Which, if you... Mm, I don't know if you'd spoken with Timothy very much, but uh, maybe in well, passing, he mentioned that that was where he used to... that's where he worked. Uh, um, and that there's also an extensive history of the previous planets and gatekeepers there. Mm -hmm. And that's all she gives you. Is that pyramid? Damn it. Is Help that it? More oh. substantial. <laughs> hey, buddy, she's a planet. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> you told me I could possibly have a conversation with her. You want to talk, talk directly with the planet? Yep. That's pretty ballsy. We have. Uh, curious relationship. <laughs> um, yeah. I will, she will say, I, um, I know what it's like to be abandoned by my parents, to have a child that you want to do nothing more than protect. Um, she's always a loon uh, themselves has always felt a strong connection with the planet and um, he she will say I I feel honored and not worthy to be a gatekeeper but I will continue to fight for you but I have to know my son will be safe. Um, 
the those words leave your mouth and there's a pause where you don't feel much of anything and then you hear laughter from nearby um and when you look up uh you're you're right next to the gardens and there's a a, a little hill in the middle that they leave they've left bare with grass on it and you know that often it's a popular picnic spot among the people who live in the palace. And when you look up, you see the queen and your son um, sitting in the grass, playing together. Uh, relief clear on the queen's face and joy on your son's face, probably for the first time in a few days. And they're laughing together. And she tickles him and he, he's squeals and um if you look around a little bit more you do see that there's guards stacked everywhere they're like hidden in bushes and uh on in all the windows and surrounding them constantly uh and i don't know you see that image of them playing in the grass together the the queen of the realm and mm. your guys' son all right um, the last thing I will do is I will say that I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but Leon really needs to speak with Rose. Um, hmm. You don't get anything from the planet, but you, you do feel Leon in your mind palace <laughs> i don't know what you're calling it, <laughs> we'll and, it out later. <laughs> yeah mind palace i feel like is pretentious enough for you yeah. uh, uh it's like the uh the spell um magnificent mansion <laughs> in your brain yeah eventually i'll be able to bring that out of the real world <laughs> wonderful but you do feel leon in your mind and you can tell that he's trying to get out and yeah. You as Coralie are well, hold on. You and Coralie are trying to let him take over, um, and that pain hits you again. Uh, and it's it's hurts and it burns, and uh, you feel the cold earth under your hands though, and it subsides a little. But you are still Coralie. How are you feeling? What's the emotion at this? Uh, very upset. Uh, like frustration? Which, yeah. Leon okay. Had just for the first time professed his love for uh, Rose Aww. and he can't get out. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Roll me a d20. Just a straight d20. Okay. Um. You try again and you try really fucking hard and there's that flash of is it a flash of light when you change or is it just real subtle they're real subtle it's real subtle and it hurts like a son of a bitch but i'm used to pain uh it's, it's excruciating probably more than you felt in a very very long time and leon comes out but you're barely holding on okay there's there's a time limit here, you think. Okay. Then that's going to be it for me, for now. Mm, okay. That is messy uh, after game. What they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Role play. Um, I'm going to give you like 15 minutes tops. So, before you you revert. Okay. Uh, do what you will with that. I know you guys like to role play. Do, do, um, do, 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 do. Yes. So that's where I'm ending the session tonight, folks. Unless anybody else has something pressing. Uh, no, no, I've already replenished my arrows, so. Yeah, but, um, do 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 I'm giving you two levels. I'm sorry, oh, what? Level nine, I believe. Yes. Once again, I'm feeling... copies from my game. I do what I want. This is, I held my session earlier than I planned, and I'm giving you two levels. <laughs> hey, I'm all for uh, it here. Also, because I want you guys to be high level, it's fun. <laughs> Oh, Rips to Alyssa, who's never so. played D&D &D really before, and is just getting <laughs> launched right into high-level characters, but here we go! That is, that is your fault entirely. It is, madam. but we're having fun. 
and now there's a hot, big, scary lady who's got an interest in her. Isn't that every girl's dream? Uh, <laughs> that you know what? It's that's, mine. That's, that's <laughs> just about everybody's dream. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I prefer the short girl. Well, you insist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my session. You guys are level nine now. Yay! Uh, we will be level nine come the next recording here. But that being oh said, God, I'll shit. end it right here. Yay, thanks for coming, everybody. Bye. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed what I did to my parents. I did. Uh, I want they were going to die. Playing.